A Sudan Prime Minister James Marape admitted that not much service has been given to the traditional landowners of the nation's capital whose existence intertwines with the capital city. I just feel bad that we are here at this moment. Uh, this sort of facility could have been built many, many years ago. Uh, the wonderful people of Hanobada, the people of Elavala, the people of Tatana, Baruni, the people of uh, Wabukori, the people of Kirakira, the people of Pari, uh, they have given this wonderful, uh, their wonderful land, the traditional land for our nation's capital to be built on, and they remain marginalized on the side. I just feel guilty representing governments of today and governments of past that we have not given them much respect, especially in matters in relation to basic services. And uh, I feel a little bit uh, sad, guilty, embarrassed. Marape gave his assurance that his government will now look at refocusing and including Motu Koitabuans in service delivery. PM Marape stated that villages from Hanoabada, Elevala, Baruni, Tatana and other surrounding Motu Koita villages will be included in a major facelift, including suburbs of the city, in preparation for the country's 50th anniversary. You have given sufficient resource to our city. You have given, including the human resources you've given to our city and to our country. And you deserve this and in fact much, much more. And this is the start of a refocus to the big village, refocus to Motu Kweta, and refocus in cleaning up our city in preparation for our country to live beyond 50 years of nationhood as we arrive in 2025. Prime Minister Marape was speaking at the official launch of the construction and ward naming of the proposed Metorea Health Centre. The proposed Metorea Health Centre is an Australian-funded project at the cost of 35 million kina and is anticipated to be completed in 18 months' time. Lindy Suharupa, National MTV News.